Hey, this is Neil Flight, and I'm in my Clade Underworld. Uh, this is the Clade Under map by Dan Robs Probs that I have updated to 1.14. Uh, I did a previous episode introducing the updated map, and during that time, I thought, hey, maybe I should give a base tour of this uh, of my Clade Under map. Uh, if and maybe that would be something that people would be enjoy seeing, um, and right now is the perfect opportunity to do that. I'm a little bit between projects in that I have an add-on almost ready to release. I actually thought I might release it today, but it turned out I ran into a problem with naming it. Um, I wasn't happy with the name and I've put so much time into this map I don't want it to fall flat simply because uh, people don't understand what it's about. So uh, I put it off a week and I've been working on that and I think we're ready. So next Friday uh, there should be a release of a new add-on um, and I can't tell you the name because it might still change. <laughs> Anything's possible. Uh, but at this point I think it's ready. Um, anyway, uh, so I recommend please subscribe to the channel and then you'll get a notification when that video is released that introduces the new add-on. And this is an add-on, it's not a map itself uh, that you can apply to any of your favorite maps. And it adds all kinds of chaos and craziness and randomness, it's full of random. And there's even a boss battle or two in there that, um, you, that might take you by surprise. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna just continue my base tour today and show you around my clade under map. Oops, I hit the... Okay, so, um, man, I this is gonna be a chance for me to re-familiarize myself with my map, or my base, because I don't even remember what I was working on. That was, it seems so long ago. But anyway, let's take a look around. First, let's, I'll introduce you to my villager over here. Uh, he's a cartographer. Uh, oh, he decided he wanted to go to sleep, too. Uh, so, uh, Carl, we'll call him. Carl the Cartographer. If I had an anvil, I'd name him. But, uh, yeah, he's he's a, he's sold me some paper. I've sold him some paper, and he's sold me some maps, but he's not resetting. And that's probably because he doesn't have a workstation. Uh, but uh, I, I don't know what else to do with him. I could buy some more of his maps and maybe sell him some glass panes. Maybe I could get him to upgrade to Journeyman, but I don't know if that's even worth it. I, I, so I'm just leaving him for now. Um, funny story about, he's actually my second villager. I had a villager over there and that station or that place for the villager got destroyed by one of those TNT creepers that just melted through um, all of the clay and then got to the other cartographer. Well, the creeper didn't, but some zombies who were with him did. Uh, my farm here, I've got all the major necessities growing, uh, just in small numbers because it's just me, so I don't need a ton. Uh, let's take a look at what I have in the storage. I have, uh, I do have some money and the maps and the two original books are still there waiting for use in the future. Uh, I have looks like some bones in here, so I'll go ahead and put those in. And TNT and slime. There is a slime chunk right back there that has been producing tons of slime, more than I could ever need. This is my clay chest. I've managed to get up to triple compressed, but not beyond yet. I know I could compress this all down, but I've been working towards the getting Clayton, and uh, I have the kyanite, and I have uh, a, a lot of the clay, but not enough to get to the quintuple uh, compressed clay. So I need to keep doing some digging with the boat, and I'll show you where I've been doing that. And here's my food chest. It has all, everything from the farms over there. Go ahead and put this dirt in here. Oh, I can put these fish up there too. And this is the rotten flesh and spider eyes, things that I don't use very much. And this is the uh, nether chest. So I have been to the nether and I've also received items from the sieve over here. 
And yeah, so I have my tool or workstation over here, and I believe I have, yeah, a bunch of enchanted books and uh, kelp that I've been smelting down into kelp blocks. And this is where I put the things I get from the fisher. I've already have tons of cod and such in here, but uh, some prismarine crystals, which should come in handy, as well as some other things uh, being stored there. Excess items and garbage, I can throw in some lava there that I brought up from the bottom. And this is where I've been mining the clay. I uh, bring the boats over here and uh, just dig down a couple levels and then run around this little course and then I move my torches so that mobs don't spawn. Um, I tried, so the first I went down here because I was looking for, um, Clayton has a spot marked in one of the books and I tried to find what he had and I didn't find anything so I just thought oh, I'll just use it as an opportunity to dig things out and it's made that big cavernous area. And let's see, so over here, uh, this is an area for mobs to kind of spawn naturally. Uh, it's actually really kind of a dangerous area. In fact, I hear mobs right now because I know that, yeah, it's hollow under there and mobs are spawning down there. Um, I had some of those uh, clay creepers spawn and they just melted through and I think I had some Herobrine back here as well that melted down there. So there's kind of a cave underneath that everything's spawning in. But I didn't have a chance to deal with all that before Clade Under broke before. And over here is my mob spawning or mob farm area. This is um, based on Lister's waterless mob farm and it works pretty well for me. It looks like I got a Looks like there's a clay creeper in there, and there's those slimes right on cue. Look at that. So I get tons of slime over here, and um, yeah, looks like there is a... Look at that slime crawling up the scaffolding. guys so I've been expanding some uh, carpet down here because I want to stop those slimes from constantly spawning and they do spawn constantly um, where is the clay that he must have died when he fell at least I hope so um, anyway it's made of all hardened clay and slabs and glass things that the clay creepers won't break or the hero brine won't break either as long as you stay away from clay it's it's okay and you can see that i have some iron tools and i've gotten those from zombies that have spawned with iron tools and then i turn on the water and they turn into drowns and drop their iron tools so that's really useful and uh i guess i could could quickly climb up here so going up the scaffolding Hopefully there's no mobs up here. Just take a moment to listen. Sounds safe. Okay. So I'll throw that. Yep, safe. Okay. So, um, right, this is the waterless mob farm, kind of. It's it's not exactly the same as Lister's. It's just my own little design, but pretty much based off of it. Um, and yeah. It's, it's worked for me. I haven't gotten as many Endermen as I'd hoped, and it's probably partly due to my design. Uh, but using buttons and hardened clay, pretty simple. I probably should dig this out more, and then maybe I would get some Endermen spawning. Um, but it works, and it's helped me out. So I'll pick that up and go down. There we go. So I think that's mainly, I do have a little hidey hole here that I hide in so that the slimes that spawn can't get me while I'm 
away from the keyboard temporarily, like if I need to, uh, you know, grab a snack or use the restroom. And here's my nether portal. I haven't explored the nether too much, um, but it does work. It doesn't crash. I have gone through it and it's been okay. So that's cool. And um, I think that's pretty much all I have to show you today. Uh, as far as my base goes, I hope that uh, you'll turn it, tune in next week when I release my new add-on. Uh, I'm going to make it happen no matter what. It's going to happen. So um, anyway, I will see you then. And I'd like to say thanks for watching. Bye now.